Hi, let's talk about headings. Think of headings on a page as working like headings for an outline. You have main headings and subheadings, which differ in size. For instance, the heading at the top of the page, right here, Lesson 2 Reading Assignment, whoa. the title is larger than subsequent headings. So in the ecosystem, title headings are styled as heading 1s by design. The title of any page will show up as a heading 1 because heading 1s are reserved for titles. And remember that heading the heading 2 style is reserved for menu items for accessibility reasons. So these items here in the right hand menu are heading 2s. I'm talking about items like this, lessons, navigation, user menu, those are heading 2s. Any headings you add to the page in the content like these will be heading 3s or smaller. For instance, reading assignment here is a heading 3 and points to consider while reading, which is a subheading of reading assignment, is a heading 4. A subheading for heading 4 would be a heading 5, and so on. When adding headings, please use the Format button in the toolbar. And let's get to the toolbar. We'll click on the Edit mode here in the black bar. Here's the toolbar. And we're going to add a heading 5 below Points to Consider down here I'll add one. So I'm going to put my cursor down here where I want it and type a heading which shows up in plain text which I can then quickly change to heading 5 by going to the format button here and choosing heading 5 from the list. And that's pretty much it. One last thing, please do not bold these headings. Headings stand out by design. They don't need extra enhancement. And bolding them will cause your designer or design assistant to have to go in and strip out that bold style. All right, thanks for your time. Please contact your learning designer if you need assistance.